person with an evil heart can be terrifying because he doesn't have empathy for other people. He can do things that ordinarily you wouldn't believe other humans can do. An evil person doesn't necessarily hide his identity because his traits are written all over him, provided you know the signs to look out for. An evil man can be your brother, lover, or best friend. He can be at your school, church, office, or even live in the same house as you. So how can you identify them easily so that you can be wary of them? The following traits are common among people with evil hearts. But before that, if you find this video helpful to you, please help us by clicking that like button below. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any interesting updates in the future. Here we go. Number 1. They don't show remorse. A person who finds it difficult to acknowledge his sins against someone or even God, such a person would be termed to have an evil heart. This remorselessness doesn't start immediately. It usually starts small, and with time, the heart gets so hardened that they don't feel anything again. They don't care about the feelings of anyone or the outcome of the actions in which they take. The less a man feels to repent of his sins towards man and God, the more evil he becomes, and he simply will not feel sorry for hurting other people, but will instead find joy in hurting them. If you try to force him to accept his wrongs and apologize for his bad behavior, he'll turn it around on you and make you believe that what you feel about them is completely wrong. Number 2. They jubilate on others' misfortune. This is one of the prevalent ways to know a person with an evil heart. He's never happy when others are happy. Instead, he finds joy and happiness in the misfortune of others. He jubilates when others are crying. Instead of sympathizing with the struggles of another person, he makes a joke of it. They don't remember the pains they felt when they had bad things happen to them in life. But instead, they rejoice in the suffering of others and feel better than them. Sometimes they even push blame onto the other person who's suffering the predicament, just to make matters worse. They do all it takes to bring down people that are already hurt, because that's where they derive their source of joy and happiness. Number 3. They're controlling and manipulative. A person with an evil heart wants to remain in control of everyone and everything because he believes it's the only way he can control things and do them the way he wishes. He uses every manipulative tactic available to make sure he remains at the top. He never admits to a fault and never allows anyone to question his decisions because he feels that it'll ruin the illusion that he's in control. Most times he'll go out of his way to pretend to be nice and good to you just to get something from you. Once the thing he's looking for is gotten, he returns to his old self. Sometimes he can get so obsessive about controlling your life to the point that if you defy any of his wishes, it can result in a terrible action against you. The goal of the evil person is to control the way you feel on the inside, not how you feel on the outside. Number 4. They Lack Responsibility A person with an evil heart has no sense of morality at all. He'll make sure to do whatever pleases him without trying to take responsibility for any pain or hurt that it'll cause anybody else. He doesn't even care about how others feel, provided he's doing what makes him feel good. That's all he cares about. He has no time to think about how his actions will affect other people. Instead, he'll try to dodge any blame that's being put on him. He never apologizes and may even feel like you're the one who owes him an apology. He feels that only the weak apologize and for that reason, he'll never apologize for wrongdoing because he doesn't want to be seen as weak. Number 5. He has no humility. Pride is the watchword of a man with an evil heart. He doesn't have one iota of humility in him because he believes that he's better than everybody around him. He's arrogant, pompous, and always full of himself. He'll do anything just to prove he's better than the next person and that he's always right. He's so proud of himself that he wants to be the only one at the top and will never allow anyone to meet him up there. A person with an evil heart, however, has lost the care to show kindness and empathy towards others. Number 6. Cruelty some people are a bit hidden on how hardened their hearts are, while others are more open about it. You may think that all evil people are crafty, but not all evil-hearted men are crafty. Some are just open to who they are. They show it right to your face that they're evil. They're very vocal about it. They can do this in various ways, such as always getting into fights, emotionally and physically hurting loved ones, or even hurting animals. 
An evil person doesn't care about the extent to which he carries out his evil intentions. Sometimes he can push the evil so far he can end up hurting someone else so badly that they could even end up in the hospital or jail. You should try to stay away from people like this as fast as possible so that they don't land you in serious trouble. Number 7. They are insensitive to other evil. A person with an evil heart doesn't react to the evil in the world the way others will. He sees the evil in the world as good things and praises the perpetrators of these evils. When terrible events happen, instead of them feeling moved emotionally, they act as if it's nothing at all. They don't care about the sufferings of the victims and their families. They don't have to feel the world's negative events. Instead, they might even capitalize on that to make profits and gain power and control over their victims. They see every terrible event as an opportunity to be in charge. Well, those are seven personality traits which someone who has an evil heart often has. Do you recognize someone who inhibits these personality traits? For your sake, I hope not. But I do hope you enjoyed my explanation. Please don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified of subsequent videos. Thanks for watching.